everyone. Welcome to another week of Reading with Miss Williams. Um, we're now moving into a fiction genre study, and this week we're focusing on the story My Dream Playground. Um, this one's actually kind of fun because it's based off of a true story, and so some of the characters are actually real-life people um, that this actually happened to, and I'll get into a little bit of that at the end of the story when I read the author's note. Um, but this book is created by um, Kate written by Kate M. Becker, and it was illustrated by Jed Henry, and um, Kaboom is a nonprofit organization. So um, while reading this story, um, you're going to be doing an activity afterwards on character traits, where you talk about a character from any stories, internal and external traits. So real quick, I just want to review what those are. Um, remember that internal traits is what's on the inside. It's how the person or the character in the story feels, um, or how you would say that they act maybe like selfish or happy. Um, so you're thinking about what's on the inside. You can't see it. And then external traits is what's on the outside. It's everything that you can see on the character and what they actually do. Um, so if they're wearing a purple shirt, that would be an external trait. If they have brown hair, that's an external trait. So those are the ways that they look. Internal traits are the way that they feel. All right, let's get started. This is my dream playground. I dream about having a playground, a real playground, a fun playground in our neighborhood. But all we have is an empty lot down the street from my apartment. I know that someday my dream is going to come true. Every day on my way home from school, I walk past the empty lot and then I run up the steps and into our apartment. I grab my pencils, crayons, and sketch pad, and then I head back down to the stoop and start to draw. What I draw is my dream playground. I draw slides and swings and monkey bars and trampolines. I draw my friends and my brothers sliding down the twisty slide, jumping on the trampoline and flying as high as the buildings. I show my drawings to my mom and she hangs them on our fridge. Never stop dreaming, she tells me. Then after dinner, my brothers and I add to my drawings. We use purple for the slide, yellow for the swings, and red for the trampoline. Right now, our drawings are just dreams, but I know that someday they will come true. Then, one day, everything changes. My brothers and I are sitting on our stoop when a man comes by and stops to look around the empty lot across the street. It's him, I say. Who, my brothers ask. The man who's going to build our playground. He takes out a tape measure and starts measuring and making notes on a clipboard. I run up the steps two at a time and into our apartment. I grab my drawings from the fridge and rush back down the stairs. Excuse me, sir, I say to the man. You're here to build the playground, aren't you? He looks surprised at first. Then he smiles. Yes. Yes, I am, he tells me. How did you know? I just knew, I say. I just knew you would come. Well, you're right. My name is Daryl, and some hardworking volunteers are going to turn this vacant lot into a playground. Can I show you some of my designs? I ask nervously. Designs? For the playground. I always dreamed a playground would get built here. I show him my drawings, and he looks over them over carefully. Then he says, you are a talented architect. This is an impressive playground design. Would you like to be a project manager? We could use your help. Really, I say. I can be a hardworking volunteer, too. Then Daryl and I shake hands. The next day, I run home as soon as school is out. Daryl is already at the lot, and he hands me my very own clipboard. Here you go, project manager, he says. Daryl asks my opinion on everything. How many slides do we need, he asks. Two, I say. Monkey bars or swings? Both. Then I make more designs on my clipboard and show them to Daryl. Once we've decided on everything, Daryl asks me to make one more drawing. The final design for our new playground except this one is going to be real and not a dream. After days and weeks and months of being a project manager and planning for my dream playground, 
The time to build is finally here. Hundreds of people come to help, including just about everybody I know, plus lots and lots of people I don't know. Mr. Sid from the market brings the sandwiches. Miss Gonzalez from the hardware store brings the tent. Gregory from upstairs is playing music. It's a big party and everyone is working. We cut wood, dig holes, hammer and paint. When it starts raining, we keep working, regardless of the mud, and that's even more fun. It takes a whole week to build everything, but at last, we're done. A huge crowd gathers to cheer for us. There's even a TV camera, and a reporter interviews me for the news. My name is in the newspaper, and so is a picture of our playground. But the best part of all is playing on the playground that I helped build. My dream playground came true, just like I knew it would. Okay, so here's a note from the author. It says, every child should have a great place to play within walking distance. That is what Kaboom believes and why it exists. Kaboom is a national nonprofit that was founded by Daryl Hammond. The hero in this story is inspired by a girl, a real girl named Ashley. In 1995, Daryl Hammond moved to Washington, D.C. to plan a service project for volunteers who would be attending a conference. He decided to build a playground in, and selected Livingston Manor in Washington, D.C. for his project. Daryl planned the project so that the volunteers from outside the community would work side by side with community members. Just like the narrator of this story, Ashley ran to Daryl on his first day there and showed him her designs for her dream playground. After Daryl made her a project manager, Ashley collected pennies for the playground, coaxed her family and neighbors to get involved, and worked tirelessly to make the project happen. Kaboom believes in dreams and imaginations of children. When you put the power and resources of communities and local leaders behind a child's dream, there's an explosion of hope and possibility. That is what we call Kaboom. For more information, you can go to kaboom.org. To plan your own dream playground, go to ourdreamplayground.org.